this experiment however had a uh, afterlife that was very important which was that when the indian national army troops were brought back to india they were brought back as traitors to be tried um and uh, there was a lot of sympathy that was uh, happened as a result of this and when the trials started in the red fort against some of the officers of the indian national army there was a wave of support including in the indian army uh, which had otherwise remained loyal to the british and so this set in motion yet another sequence of events uh, which ultimately culminated in exactly what the revolutionaries had tried to do all along which was a genuine widespread revolt in the indian armed forces and a genuine undermining of their loyalty to the british and this was this culminated in a, a event which is known as the royal indian navy uh, revolt of 1946 so basically what happened is that the sailors of the indian uh, of the royal indian navy uh, rose up in revolt uh, and captured uh, something like uh, 70 80 ships in uh, mumbai harbor remember these are war veterans so they know uh, they are, they are well organized um, and uh, uh, they took over many of the shore uh, establishments they took many of their officers uh, british officers and confined them they took over their uh, the ships and the british when they asked the the, the indian army and the royal indian air force officers to try and put it down uh, they found that their uh, indian counterparts were not very keen on helping them out so this is broadly the environment in which uh, the british uh, prime minister atli realized that it was no longer possible to hold india down and it is therefore not a coincidence that it was during this uh royal indian navy revolt in mumbai uh that finally the decision was made to send a cabinet commission commission to india to uh, seriously discuss um independence the revolt itself however petered out after a week um because it was not given very much political support uh, by the uh, political leadership the revolutionaries as you know by this time uh, did not have any leadership almost the entire leadership had been killed off uh, by this time even uh, raj bihari pros had died uh, uh, sachin nath sanyal had died in jail uh, and uh, uh, subhash bose had gone missing or maybe dead and so on so there was no leadership and the congress party did not give them very much support to be fair the communists even though they had not participated wholeheartedly in the independence movement so far did provide some support to the revolt but in the end uh, it all petered out and uh, the sailors were advised by uh, patel and nehru to basically surrender so they did surrender but as i pointed out earlier uh, the sequence of events had already been put in place that led to indian independence a year later